Maybe this will be one of those moments I'll always remember. Years from now, I'll be having lunch with friends, or in the shower, or ordering a cup of coffee, and remember exactly what it was like, laying here staring at the back of his head, listening to him breathe, exhausted from effort and a little sweaty. And me, still awake, surrounded by his sound and his smell and his effort and bored out of my mind. Maybe this will change everything. I know it won't though, and I don't expect it to. It'll just be another in a long list of fruitless endeavors. A list too long to remember. I don't know. This isn't about me. It's about him. He's a painter. A good one, according to some professors. Or at least one that's on an interesting track. People say things like dark and disturbing when they talk about his work. I think it's okay. I don't really get it, even though I'm a painter too. Or trying to be. People think my work is subtle and sometimes, if I'm lucky, charming. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. People call him intense and mysterious. I've always thought he was an asshole. Same thing. Why am I here then? I don't know. Because I wanted to find out if he was real, I guess. People don't know that he went to summer camp as a kid, or that he likes honey smacks, or that he leaves his underwear laying on the floor, that his persona falls apart the first time you hear him peeing in the next room. I know these things because I looked for them. I've always been better at listening than painting. Maybe there's nothing to figure out. Maybe this is it. Just some kid putting a towel around his neck and pretending to be Superman. Not that it matters. He said he doesn't care about anything. Bullshit, right? I can't help but envy him. Lately I've been falling in love with everyone I meet, including him and even his dark and mysterious art. I want to care and to tell him that it's okay not to be brooding and mysterious. And that it's okay to eat honey smacks. Maybe he'll paint something for me. I can hang it above my mantle and one day tell my children about the time I slept with a famous painter. Or sell it. Instead, he just painted my body with his in the same sloppy, empty, fake way he does a canvas, trying hard to be something he's not. You know what? Fuck it. What are you doing? I couldn't sleep. Come back to bed. Okay.